Okay, this is a video is for assignment 4B. Um, this is really similar to assignment 4A, except we are uh, trying different aspects of that trace bitmap function. So go ahead and open a new blank Inkscape window, and you can do either a landscape or a portrait view. doesn't matter to me. Um, but go up to File Import, and we're going to import a... Um, another bitmap image. So you can either take from the Section 4 folder or your instructions say if you want a little more of a challenge you can um, select from the Section 3 folder. So I'm just going to take from Section 4. I'll choose this cool Saturn photo and let's see we are supposed to <clears throat> import the image and then hit with the image selected hit Control C to copy it and we want to paste so that we have six of that image on our page. So go ahead and resize and um, move and adjust those images so that they're not overlapping each other. And then go ahead and select one of the bitmap images and go up to our path trace uh, bitmap option. So now we're going to kind of experiment in within this dialog box uh, the different features. So. Um, we this is the one we used. We used the brightness cutoff at 0.5 um, in the last assignment, and that shows you what it gives us. And once you hit OK, it applies that traced image. So now we can mess with some of these other options: um, edge detection. Hit OK to apply. Select another one. Color quanti quantization. <laughs> so sound it out. Um, and you're just supposed to go in and mess with, apply these different, you can even go down here um, to these options down here, update, OK, and just um, apply several of these um, images to, you should have a different um, combination applied to each image. So, Something like that. So go ahead and mess with those different options inside that dialog box to um, apply them to a different one to each image. And then, oops, it doesn't look like this one got anything applied to. Let's just do that one. Okay. So then once you've done that, go ahead and we want to drag out um, the original bitmap and just leave the traced image in there, all except for one. Leave one of your original images on the page for me to see. And delete all these other ones so that we just see the traced image, like so. And so now, like we did in the last assignment, we're going to apply different colors and different filters, different patterns, and whatever you want to um, all of these images. So uh, go ahead and apply something different to each image just to give it new colors, new, again, new filters, whatever you want. Alright, so once you've done something different with each of your six duplications of the bitmap, go ahead and we're going to save this project in your section 4 folder. We are naming this assignment or B. Okay. okay, and then of course our last step, we're going to export this as a bitmap. So make sure it's going into the right folder and hit export. Let's double check that it's in there. Shoulders 2, section 4, something for oops, it's not the one I want to open because that's already open. <laughs> This should be it. Okay. There we go. And you could have, if you left that in there, that's fine. Otherwise, you could, what we should have done, let's try that one more time, is just select those six objects and export it that way. So let's try that again. Export. So now I have selection selected. And I just want to save over that current image. Replace. Okay, now let's check it. Okay, and there you have it. 
So hopefully you didn't have any trouble with that one since it was a lot like 4A. But um, if you did, go ahead and let me know if you have any questions.